Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another look at a setting but it's not really a setting it's more of information that you can have about your own PC in the settings in Windows 10. Simply have to go into the notifications into all settings into system and at the complete bottom of the list you have about. When you click here you've got a complete list of information about your computer but there are some settings that go with it but if you're looking for an easy way to know what your computer's main uh, windows type you know uh, what version of OS build and so on processor ram installed is it a 32 64 bit system that's first where you can go very easily you have the name of your pc you can change the name of your pc at any time now this is not the name of your user account it's different it's the name that your PC will have when it's viewed on a network then you've got organization here by default work group this is the basic setting for a network communication so for example if you've got five computers on your own network if you want them to see each other they have to be on the same organization they have to be in the same name group here so work group needs to be the same for everybody by default this is what Windows 10 gives all computers so by default all your computers could um, basically see each other then you've got a little tab here that says connect to work or school and this brings you to a connect setting where if you have access to a computer network from your workplace from your school you can change the settings to have access to those computers then of course you've got this the uh, information so the edition of Windows you have in here it's Windows 10 home the version 1607 you've got the build 14393.105 now you've got the product ID which is basically unique to each version of Windows how it's installed on your computer then you've got the processor type of processor you have so I've got a core i5 uh, with its numbering 3210 M for mobile and the CPU is running at 2.5 gigahertz you've got the, the RAM installed I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM here you've got the system type 64-bit operating system so it's a 64-bit processor that I've got and finally you've got information about pen and touch so it tells you if you got pen or touch capability on the computer you are using then you've got change product key or upgrade your edition of Windows so if you've got a product key that you can enter that maybe changes for example from home to pro or so on this is where you can actually click and enter a new product key or upgrade your edition of Windows so I've got home I could go to pro for example you have the privacy statements of Windows and Microsoft services the privacy uh, service agreements to applies to all the services and the software license terms of Windows and finally you've got related, related settings the, admin, the uh, additional administrative tools when you click brings you to this panel administrative tools that have a lot of options and uh, as we go in slowly we'll go through these options in different videos so that you learn more about your computer you've got BitLocker settings BitLocker is a software it's something that is built in Windows only on the Pro version so that's why it's bringing me to this page here but if you're on the Pro version you've got something called BitLocker that can encrypt your files uh, on your PC you've got access to the device manager which is basically the place to see all of the devices plugged in on your computer and if they are in correct working order or not uh, you can upgrade uh, up, upgrade uh, or update the drivers you can see what version of a certain driver you have and so on you have system info which brings you a more detailed page um, basically uh, well not really a more detailed but where you've got basically the same information that you had here but at the left side you've got access to uh, remote settings system protection advanced system settings security and maintenance but it gives you also another page where you see all the information from your 
Windows operating system. So that's pretty much how, what it is about, and it's uh, you know an easy way to see the basics of your system. You know, questions that people ask me all the time: How much RAM? How do I know how much RAM I've got? How do I know is the 32, 64-bit system, or what I have as a version, or what's the build that I got? What's the processor I have? Well, the basic information is here on the About tab in this setting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Hopefully, you enjoy our videos. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.